In today's video, we're looking at what is arguably the one best exercise you can implement for carpal tunnel syndrome. Now, carpal tunnel syndrome is a nerve disorder and it affects our median nerve, which is one of the biggest nerves in our arm. The median nerve starts in the neck, it runs underneath our pectoral muscles, through our armpit, down our forearm, and ultimately gives sensation to our thumb, index finger, middle finger, and part of our ring finger. And if it gets really severe, it can cause atrophy and weakness in the muscles of the hand and affect our grip. So if you have symptoms like that, stay tuned for this exercise. So the exercise we're gonna look at is a nerve mobilization for the median nerve, and there's two variations. Now, they're, they're a little different from each other, so if you've got these symptoms, maybe try both and see which one helps you the most. One of the variations is very new from the research and has been found to maybe affect the median nerve and help it move more than ones we use in the past. So I'm gonna show you both. Again, just find the one that works best for you. For these nerve mobilizations, we're looking at trying to get the nerve to kind of slide and move. Our, our nerves run through canals in our body and we're looking at trying to help them move and improve blood flow to the nerve and nutrient delivery. All of that can help reduce pain that you might have, again, where the median nerve runs. So for this first variation, what we're gonna do is your arm is gonna be out straight. So I'm gonna pretend like obviously the symptoms are on my right arm. And that median nerve, again, runs to the top side of the forearm and down into this side of the palm. So when I put my arm like this, it's gonna stretch that nerve a little bit and you might even feel it in this position. So what we wanna do, again, because that nerve starts in the neck, is we're gonna move our head towards our hand when it's in this stretch position. That relaxes the nerve up here in my neck while it's on tension down there in my arm. And then we're gonna reverse that. So then when I put my arm on slack and put the nerve in a relaxed state here, I'm gonna move my head away and tension the nerve roots up here. So basically I'm just gonna go back and forth like that. It kinda of looks like this funky little dance, but I'm gonna go back and forth from wrist extension and elbow extension with my neck and head towards my arm and then when my wrist and elbow go into flexion, my head is gonna side bend away. Okay, so we're just thinking about that nerve, which is kind of like a spaghetti noodle, kind of pulling it back and forth. And for these mobilizations, you can do somewhere around 10 to 15 repetitions. You can do this every hour throughout the day. If you work at a computer, something like that, where your nerve starts to bother you, just take breaks and do this. And again, these have been studied, and it's been found that doing these kind of movement, movements help to improve blood flow to the nerve. Okay, so that's our first variation. That's kind of the older one. Most people, if they've seen this, are familiar with that one. Now we'll look at the newer one from the research. In our second variation here, this is the one that's newer from the research. What they basically found was that this newer variation caused more movement of the nerve in the carpal tunnel. So again, try both. Uh, this one's gonna use less elbow and sort of shoulder and neck movement. So you might find that each one helps you in a little bit different way. But with this one, you're gonna put your arm up uh, in this sort of 90-90 position, my, arm, my uh, shoulders at 90 degrees, my elbows at 90 degrees, and then all I'm gonna do is just open and close my fingers. It seems so simple, and it is pretty simple, but they found that this one caused the median nerve to move the most of the different positions they tested, especially in the carpal tunnel. So again, this one won't do much probably up here at my shoulder and neck region and things, but it will really specifically target the carpal tunnel. And again, you could go into this position, you could do 10 or 15 like this. Then you could even go to our other one and kind of go back and forth. You could kind of combine the two and make it one exercise session, you know, kind of going between the two and doing that, again, maybe every 30 minutes to hour if you're in a sustained postural position. So if you have any questions about these, put them in the comment section and I'll try to get back to you guys. All right, see you next time. Bye.